Hello, so today I'll make a video about uh, iMac. This is an iMac, probably 2011. And the common issue on this iMac is the overheating. But actually, it's not the overheating. The problem is the thermal pace between the, the, the heat sink and the, and the processor. And you have a graphic chip, you have the processor, you have sensor on the heat sinks. You can see the sensor here. So, uh, the problem is here. Yeah, after over the time, the thermal paste gets dry and it will not send the heat from the processor to the heat sink. So, uh, the, the, the sensor from the processor and from the graphic chip. The, ten the, the sensor temperature will be higher, like the, the, the heat sink. And the processor will order the, the fans to spinning fast. So that's the common issue with this IMAX. You start the IMAX, you basically you are doing nothing, and the fans start spinning loud. Let's check. Let's check this. Let's open the the processor heat sink. Let's check. I just opened this iMac. Let's check. So how you can see, the thermal paste is not, it should be liquid. This is some kind of dust. You can see, look, that's the thermal paste. Obviously this will not send the heat from the processor to the cooler, to the heat sink. And that's the issue. On this one, I'll use something special. <clears throat> we normally can use like normal thermal paste. We have MX4, Arctic, or you can use even better. So let's clean. The heat sink is clean, the processor is clean. The processor is an i7. 2600 so it's second generation on this one I'll, I will use liquid liquid metal I'm using this uh, liquid metal on uh, on my MacBook and uh, Alienware. So let's apply. Yeah, that should be enough. You need a lot of patience here. Patience. And you should be careful to not drop the this liquid metal on the motherboard because it's electric conductive.
Oh shit. Let's check. You need only patient. Yeah, so you can see it's all covered on, and this is enough, that's enough. So let's put the hands hitting back. Put all the screws. See? One more screw. It's not this one. It's this one. Yes, yeah, so that's ready. Let's check the graphic chip. I think we have to open all everything. Okay. Let's 
Let's take this out. Yeah. So that's the graphic card. Thermal paste. Over the time, that will happen. So, my advice just replace the thermal paste like every year. Let's apply the thermal paste. Just a little bit, just a bubble, a small bubble. That's all. That's all what you need. That's all what you need. ready. Let's apply a little bit of thermal paste on the memories. Now we can put all back together. So that's the way how you apply the liquid metal thermal paste. Be sure the graphical connector is okay. Now you can plug it back. And we'll see you on the end.
Thank you for watching. So back after uh, I put all together, we can see some nice low temperature. So before was like around 75, 80 degrees doing nothing. So I think the job is well done. Now the fan is not even spinning. It's like low RPM. Thank you for watching.